What's going on guys, Rask here. Today we're learning about Overwolf.com. This website is actually super useful and one of the most useful things for New World gamers. If you head over to the App Store, you can actually get a mini map for your game. So you just click on the App Store in the top right corner where it says search app, just type in whatever game you're looking for to see if they have a plugin for it. For example, today we're using New World. This is where you can get the Eternum map, which is going to be a mini map that's added in real time position and synced to the website with locations, farming spots, resources, and lore documents. That way, if you're a trophy hunter, it makes it so much easier to actually keep track of things. They also have New World Cedron, which is a New World map Cedron to find resources you can pin to your marker, private, or share it with your friends. Both of these are decent, however, we're going to be focusing on the Eternum map today. Now, you are going to need to have Overwolf installed on your computer. Unfortunately, if you are a Console player, I don't believe this is going to work, although it, I did see some of their applications did work for mobile. As you guys can see, welcome to the turn map on Overwolf. Click next. This is where you want to install it. Whatever you want, we're just going to call it Overwolf, that way we can keep track of things better. And accept the terms and conditions. As you guys can see, turn a map and Overwolf successfully installed. Alright, so once you get everything installed, you're going to notice on the right side, sign in and connect to the turn map. .th.gl, an interactive new world map with routes, community, managed nodes, and as an alternative, you can use the newworldmap.com with limited functionality. You need to sign in through Steam, obviously, to see where your character's at. Successfully so logged in, you can close this window now. Okay, so as long as it doesn't say website, you're able to change the buttons. So, for example, set up the mini map as control plus F3 once we get inside the game. And if you're wanting to keep track of another activity that's not listed down here, all you have to do is click on add activity. And then you can add whatever you want, the name, the count, and frequency of how often you should be doing it. Alright, so let's head over to New World and see how this actually works. Alright, so once you start the application, it's probably going to look like this little blob here. So it will have a zoom functionality, a border, and opacity. You'll notice once you get in-game though, you're not really able to move it around too much. So we are going to exit the town to show you guys a little bit better. If you don't want that on your screen though, you can have it so it says show settings. So click Control F3 again. That'll make that hide away, or if you want to, you can click Escape, click on Show Settings. That'll pull up, up your overlay settings, and this is where you can customize it so you can have it set so you can set up the mini map, you can change the button to show slash hide the mini map, zoom in, all this other functionality. You can enable FPS if you want to. However, we're just going to focus on the mini map itself. And as long as you're in the escape menu, you're actually able to interact with it to move the map around. You'll notice once you're in game, you can't really use your mouse over there anyways. But as soon as you click escape, now you have access to your mouse. You can move this wherever you want to. You change the opacity. Have it a square, a circle. Make it invisible, bring it in a little bit. And maybe even zoom out just a tad. And then once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click Control F3. That'll hide that menu. Now you have a mini map, and you're going to notice that it's even going to have everything marked on the map for us, or like our stations here. Once you guys open up the main map, though, it is going to have it a little bit more grayed out, obviously. However, it actually seems to be pretty accurate when it comes to the roading and everything else, so I'm highly impressed with this. All right, so we did focus mostly on ourselves, but if we head back inside of the app itself, we have a couple cool features. So you're going to notice on the right side here, it'll say welcome back and it'll say your Steam name. The cool thing is if you're playing in a group, you can all use the exact same token and you can actually keep track of each other on the mini map itself, just like if it was built into the game. And I believe this is pulled directly through the wiki. However, they do have explore builds. Basically, you can get a whole bunch of different builds for your characters. You have a territory map, which I assume this will be connected to our current server. They have suggested raid builds. They have a whole lot of really useful stuff on the side of this website. Mutation cycles, new real old companion buddy, basically this is going to be a database of crafting recipes, perks, abilities, and much more. That way you can sort of keep track of everything and all in one neat little package. If this video helped you guys out, make sure you guys even like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like the circle or do you like it being a square? And we'll probably move this up a little bit higher. So, by the way, if you're curious, you do need to have your F3 menu enabled to move it around. So once again, control F3, once it has the texture, you can literally move this wherever you want to though. So if you prefer in like the top left corner, this is as high as we can get it. Once we're satisfied, boom, lock it in. And it does hide behind the game itself too, so it's not going to block your 
way of clicking on company, regardless if you have it like perfectly in the top left corner or not, which is really cool. If this guide helped you guys out, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll be back in New World on Sunday. If you guys want to follow along with our progress, we are still relatively new in the game, but I will see you guys there.